Welcome to part two of eBay Road Trip, where our contestants were given £10. They then drove to Shankin on the Isle of Wight and spent the money at a charity shop. Let's see what they bought. Marek bought a plaster house of no use whatsoever, a mug that may well have been used to pick up dog excrement. He was also the only sane person to buy a Michael Ball CD in the last 25 years, as well as a Johnny Cash tape in this job lot. I don't even know what this is. A dog that, if it was real, would have been put down on sight. He also bought a canvas and made this beautiful self-portrait. And finally, this steamship clock that wouldn't look out of place in a millionaire's home. But what did Alan buy? Absolutely useless glass bottle. A round paperweight that rolls off tables and is a genuine danger to children. An untouched copy of Gulliver's Travels, book so boring that no one's read it since it was published 200 years ago. An elephant, which would be the last thing you'd save if you had a house fire. A wooden carving of the three wise monkeys by someone who can't count. A necklace that if you received, you'd instantly put in the bin. And by some massive fluke, he managed to find a designer teddy bear. After some research, Marek found a clock exactly the same as his, selling for 26 pounds. And Alan's disgusting teddy bear was also on there for eight pounds. So when the players looked to see how their items were doing, they were pretty hopeful. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh dear. Oh, one thing's being watched. Oh, uh, your stupid teddy bear. Nobody's made a bid yet. I'll just put the video up now and then hopefully that all people okay. will come in their millions. Yeah, I expect they will. They then went about their household chores and waited for the auction bids to come in. But first, Marek had some questions to answer. Jack CPFC has sent a question regarding a necklace. Hi. Would the necklace make a great present for my wife's birthday next week, or will I end up divorced? Dear Jack, thank you for your question. I think if you bought a necklace for your wife worth £1.40 for a birthday, she would definitely divorce you. If, however, you bid £1,001 for the necklace, you could tell her it's worth over £1,000, and she will probably agree to stay married for five more years at the very least. Best regards and happy bidding, Marek. Another message, Pi Enthusiast thinks I've misinterpreted the Miner's Card of Crystal Stones and it should be a representation of hemorrhoids. Please put them in the correct category. Dear Pi Enthusiast, I have no idea what hemorrhoids look like. Could you please send me a picture of your hemorrhoids so I can compare them to the cards and judge whether I need to recategorise them? Best regards, Marek. Send. Here's the reply. It's now the night of the auction. Everyone, including you, is really excited. Good luck, Dad. And you, young man. May the baldest man win. Absolutely. First up is the pointless green bottle that sold for £4.20. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, You're pretty good. up £3.70. Right, good. My item was the Isle of Wight mug, which I bought for £1. Oh, that only sold for £2.20. Yeah, I'm winning so far. Striped grey paperweight. And then the Michael Ball has sold for £1.20, so I've lost 30 pence. I've got some news about the green bottle. Yes. Well, in the description, I wrote, this is a green glass bottle my dad bought. I hope no one buys it so I can smash it up with a hammer. Yes. And the man who's bought it has just messaged me to say, I would genuinely like my point and screen bottle smashed with a hammer, please and thank you. Oh, that's a bit pointless. Well, exactly, it's a point and screen bottle, Dad. Uh, you have to respect the buyer's wishes. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna have to smash it up, I'm afraid. Do we still charge him the postage? He said, I would like to pay the full cost and postage, please. Oh, that's all right then. Yeah, well, Let's have see what the next items have done. Two. Next up is the Gulliver's Travels book, which you bought for two pounds. That's right. You said it was rubbish and useless, and it wouldn't make anything at all. Have you read Gulliver's, Tra Gulliver's Travels? Yes. The yeah. whole thing? Yes. I tried reading about two pages of it. It was one of the worst books I've ever read. No, it's a great book. Classic. Well, someone else thinks that because they've just bought it for six pounds sixty, a profit of four pounds forty. Uh, my plaster model house which I bought for one pound has sold for three pounds. Well, that's amazing, that because that was that was rubbish. Alan's necklace went for three pound twenty, giving him a one pound seventy profit. While the weird miners cop thing went for eleven pounds fifty, a ten pound profit for Marek. Currently, you're up 
eleven pounds twenty, and I'm up twelve pounds ninety. Oh no! With three items left to go, Max Porcelain Dog got him a four pound fifty profit, while the Quadruple Monkey thing gave Alan a four pound twenty five boost. Let's see what the wonderful portrait. My introduction to the art world was gone for fifty-seven pounds. A fifty-six pound profit, a record for eBay road trip. What about well, that? I'm, I, well, I just I hate to admit it, but you're obviously more popular than I thought you were. So it just just goes to show. Fifty-seven pounds. Well. So you're about fifty-eight pounds behind, Dad. Well, we'll make it up on these two items. You need sure. something extraordinary. To I'm happen. sure we will. Well, I doesn't look like it. To the teddy bears coming up. It's currently on two pounds twenty. Yeah, it well, like. that's it. The elephant has sold for two pounds sixty-five. The clock sells for ten pounds fifty. Give me a seven pounds fifty profit. You're currently on. £17.35 so you need to get £64 to win from the teddy bear yeah well that should be easy let's have a look £64 how much has it got £2.20 oh no a loss of 30 pence goodness gracious me taking you back down to £17.05 well I am surprised that teddy, there were other teddy bears on there, David and Manuel ones, for a lot more money than that before we started, weren't they? Yeah, but ones that like they've been attacked by a fox. Well, I'm a bit disappointed that I lost again, but then I have to say his idea of putting his portrait on that little bit of canvas was a master stroke and it won the game for him. So, uh, and it raised a lot of money, so that's good. Uh, and hopefully somebody will enjoy it and uh, I enjoyed making it with Marek, it's always good fun and it's amazing to see what people will pay for rubbish, but there you are, that's part of the game and uh, that's part of the charm of the programme. If anything, this process proves to me that I might be something of an artistic genius, so I'm going to give up making videos and just draw a picture of myself every day, maybe even two pictures, and sell those online for money. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and see you next time.